It is a grand honor for me to present this next award. Let me just tell you a little bit about the Prairie Excellence Award. Um, the Prairie Excellence Award we started back in 2011. And the idea, the notion behind the Prairie Excellence Award is, is pretty simple. You have to be really damn good for a really long time. Okay? It's kind of like the exercise, uh, the formula for getting in shape, right? You just got to exercise consistently, right? So everybody who has won this award previously, from Dr. Fred Smines to Mark uh, Kramer, who's here tonight, uh, to some folks down the coast, have all been at this game for decades and have had a really super high benchmark for their work. And that's why we created a Career Excellence Award, because a lot of these folks, you know, you work in prairies, right? So it's, it's hard to get credit sometimes. And we really wanted to bring attention to folks who spent their entire career working to conserve what I call Houston's heartland, which is the prairie. So um, Flo is joining a very distinguished group of people, academics, restorationists, and others who have worked their heart and soul out to save uh, prairies, not just on the coastal prairie, but in other parts of Texas. Let me just tell you a few things about my friend Flo Hanna. So Flo and I go way back. Um, that's Flo uh, at the Psalms Road Prairie. How many of you guys helped with the Psalms Road Prairie Rescue? So that was back in 28, 2008. And I see a lot of your faces, and I know that you were there working to free up milkweed and things. Well, it was Flo who started that whole chain. She called me up one day and she said, hey, they're going to sell the Psalms Road Prairie. I'd never been there. She said, ah. She said, won't you get out here? And I said, eh, I'm kind of busy, Flo. Uh, you know, I'm doing stuff. She's like, no, Jaime, get out here now. And I said, okay, I'm going to go. So I drove in my car, stepped 10 feet into it, and knew exactly what it was. It's like a coral reef in the middle of this neighborhood. Intact. So we couldn't raise the $10 million that they wanted in a month. Uh, we hadn't done the Deer Park thing yet, so we didn't really think we could do that. So what Flo did was really inspirational. She organized over 20 groups to go out and save about 25,000 square feet of material. So that's a small fraction of what the Psalms Road Prairie was, but I can take you to about 30 different spots around the region where the genetics of those plants were saved by Flo and a whole army of volunteers from Harris County Flood Control to Audubon to KPC uh, to Native Plant Society. Everybody was in that. The thing that that proved is that we could work together when we had big challenges to meet. That was really one of the first times where we all got together to do something like that. We had all been doing great work up to that point, but it was Flo in her vision that said, no, we should make this a priority. And for you guys who were out there saving prairie plants, what month was that? That was August. Okay? It was hot. It was a super hot. Kelly's saying the ground is like concrete. It was. But every time Flo was out there, and she was leading people like Don Verser, Kelly, and like half of that table right there. So, um, you know, Flo has always had a notion that, um, that natives are special to a place. They're beautiful because they're indigenous to that one place. And that's why when they grow real deal natives over at Audubon Society, they only collect within a certain radius because they, they love the specificity of place. And I think that's something that we're losing in this world and something very important. Here's Flo in a, I'm not sure if this is Deer Park. Is this Deer Park right? Anybody know? Could be. That's the center point right away. Oh, the center point right away. So anyway, um, you know, in a lot of ways, the Deer Park Prairie story is, is possible because Don found it, right? But then he talked to Flo about it, and Flo went out there. She excited other people, and she took people on tours. And so it kind of looked like magic when all of you guys saved Deer Park Prairie. But we all know that in a lot of ways, it was Flo laying the tracks to make it possible to get to that point. And for those of you guys who have worked with her in the nursery, on a sanctuary, uh, a sanctuary on Bolivar Peninsula, or in other places, you know that you're gonna work. You know that she's, she's, you know, she's, gonna, she's gonna get some great product 
out to our customers. And you know that the impact is going to permeate the whole community. I can take you, like I said, to many different places in the city where her plants and the folks who are growing them, like, like Tom and, uh, and Julie here, who are help, helping with growing plants, I can take you all over the city and show you their plants. Their work is everywhere. And so a lot of this right here is Flo Hannah. This is her extended family. And so it is with great pride and great joy that I uh, am going to bring up Flo's daughters at this point. Oh. What I want you to tell your mama is that this group of people love her. They support her in her battle. And that she has made a world of difference. Thank you. But your words made me think of a lot of things about mom. I know you all, many of you know her and have known her a long time. When we were in middle school and she said, I'm going to graduate school. <laughs> and out she went, out the door to graduate school and traveled. You know, she went and bought a truck and she got some muck boots. She went to graduate school and she just went every Tuesday and Thursday and she'd come back and we learned how to make dinner for ourselves because she was in the backyard. She finished and all the native prairie in the backyard. And we didn't really quite know what she was doing, but we were really happy for her. She was so happy. And it was at that moment that we knew she had found her thing. And this was at 50. She found her thing. And so now, 20 years later, she sent us with some words for you all. I'm so sorry to miss this evening's event. I'm a big fan of the Coastal Prairie Partnership and the Native Prairie Association. We are lucky to have both organizations to help us celebrate, protect, and rec recreate coastal prairies along the Upper Texas Coast. I was very lucky to discover a passion for growing and planting native grasses and wildflowers about 20 years ago. I was even luckier to be hired by Houston Audubon 15 years ago since they gave me the latitude to create the Natives Nursery. It is exciting and fulfilling to grow local native plants in an effort to keep our wildlife in the city. The Coastal Prairie Partnership and the Native Prairie Association have provided ways for us to connect with one another and for our organizations to form working partnerships. It has been a great pleasure working with each of you, something I hope to continue for many years. I am very grateful and humbled to receive this award. Thank you.